Ladies and gentlemen, Restoration Shaman seems to be the way to go in Season 1 of The War Within, and no matter if you're just starting to play it or you've played it for a while, you're gonna need some weak ores to help you along the way. In this video I'm going to present my top picks and must have for this season, some of them created by yours truly and all of them of course are going to be completely free, but if you want to support the channel, I've just created a Patreon, you can find the link in the description below, or I've added YouTube memberships that you can also find below the video. So if you have the opportunity, every little bit helps. Now without further ado, let's start with the week chorus. The first suggestion is pretty simple, it keeps track of your water shield, the charges, the timer, the earth shield on your tank, on yourself and even the elemental shields if you end up playing the shaman in a different spec. And yes, you can track those on your frames, but that's not the most convenient approach, especially in raid, so I find this weak aura quite useful. Having a 100% uptime on your earth and water shields is very very important as Restoration Shaman and this weak aura can definitely help in that direction. As a shaman we now have a raid buff, in the form of Sky Fury. You need to be able to track this buff and know if you need to recast it because if someone dies they lose the buff and you need to buff them again once they're resurrected. This week or does exactly that, showing you how many people in your raid or party are missing the buff and of course disappearing once everyone is buffed. The best part is it tracks all the buffs from all the classes, not just Sky Fury, which means that you're going to see an icon if you're let's say missing intellect from the mage in this heroic dungeon, so you can ask for them to cast it and even more so if you're playing oaths and different classes, you're gonna see those buffs for them as well and know whether or not you have to press the buttons, whether if it's fortitude, mark of the wild or something else. So at the end this is a very good weak or that I recommend you having no matter what healer you're going to be playing. This one is made by yours truly and it's going to show you an icon to let you know if you're using the wrong talents once you zone into a mythic plus dungeon. In this case I'm in the stone vault where the remove curse is mandatory but I'm missing it so I'm getting an icon to remind me to take it before the dungeon starts. This also supports the poison cleansing totem so let's take that which is not needed for the stone vault although it's needed for many of the other dungeons in season 1. And now that I change my talents, the remove curse icon disappeared because I have this talent, but now I have another icon showing me that I have the poison cleansing totem, but I actually don't need it. This week aura supports all the dungeons from season 1 in the War Within and it's going to make sure that you're using the correct talent points and you're not wasting some of the notes. Keep an eye in the discord from the description below though, as I'm going to be updating this week aura, probably include some other talents like Purge or Thunderous Pulse, and you wouldn't want to miss those updates. Yet another weak aura made by yours truly concerns the Cloudburst Totem. I've combined this one with the Cloudburst Tracker that just shows how much healing you have stored in your Cloudburst, but the important part here is the Cloudburst Announcer which is going to tell you when to drop the Cloudburst so it bursts and heals just when you need it after important boss mechanic. Cloudburst now. Now obviously the bosses in Heroic die way too fast to demonstrate this but you're gonna need it in high keys when you are actually going to be using the Cloudburst instead of the healing stream. More on that topic in my Restoration Shaman Guide which is coming up on this channel so make sure to subscribe. And for those of you who used that weak aura before and asked for it, you can actually now control and change the timers manually. If you open the weak aura menu and go to the custom options tab, you're going to see a list of all the boss mechanics that are currently being tracked and the amount of seconds that the announcer is going to say you need to drop the cloud burst before the mechanic happens. The defaults there should work pretty nicely, but if you want to change something manually, please feel free to do so. The weak aura works with both big weeks and DBM, and right now it's also using spell IDs, which means that if your wall client is in a different language, it should still be supported and work just right out of the box. If you are not using Cloudburst Totem, the tracker is still going to show information for your healing stream totem. 
And I'll urge you again to join the Discord in the description because I do plan to update this week, Cora, and add support for the different talents that alter the duration of the Cloudburst totem, like the Shield Imbue, which is not supported right now, as well as some support for the mechanics in the raid and the bosses there. So definitely stay tuned for that. And last but not least, I've compiled a list of useful Restoration Shaman weak auras that I'll probably end up using during the season. Those are not created by me, check the information tabs for more information. And also, feel free to expand the list and delete the ones that you don't like, just keeping the ones that you think are gonna be useful for you. As for what's in the pack, there are reminders for your Earth Living Weapon and Shield Imbue if they're missing. There are two different indicators that track your high tides. One of them is a bar, the other one is an icon. I still haven't figured out which one I'm gonna use and which one I like more, so both are included. There is a separate tracker which tracks how many times you've casted Healing Surge or Healing Wave, and namely when your next undulation is going to come, as well as a bar that shows the remaining time of your Healing Rain once you cast it. Links to everything you've seen so far are available in the description of this video, so feel free to grab them from there and let me know if you have any questions. I'll see you in the next video. Now get out of here.